So the system requirements for Monster Hunter Wild has finally released, and they're kind of crazy. All right, for our lowest settings, you're playing at 1080p, upscaling from 720p at 30 FPS while using a GTX 1616 Super. That's not a bad start. The card is pretty old, and it's around 20% faster than a GTX 1060, or about the same, or I guess 10% slower than a GTX 1070, and a 3050 is somewhere in between. And some extra cards from the Nvidia side, an RTX 2060 is around 24% faster, the RTX 2060 Super, 40% faster, again a 3060, 44% faster, and again I'll have the AMD cards on screen as well for you guys. But all these cards will be fitting somewhere in between the lowest settings and the medium settings that is coming up. All right, for the RAM, 16 gigs, for a PC like this, in this, I guess, preset range, that's pretty fair. I think most of these systems will have 16 gigs of RAM. I think ideally for 2024, it's best to have 32 gigs just in case, but 16 gigs will be enough to play the game, of course. For the CPUs, I normally just skip these because they're pretty inconsistent for most games and don't really tell you the whole story, but these CPUs aren't the newest or the top of the line of their generation, so I think it's pretty fair for the lowest settings. It is 30 FPS though, so not sure about this. We'll see when the game comes out. All right, VRAM is six gigs. That's pretty fair, I would say. We are upscaling here, guessing using FSR, so that would use up more VRAM. But 6 gigs is about what you would expect for newer games these days. Not great, but it is what it is, right? Time for the most annoying thing ever, or the most annoying trend ever. The game needs 140 gigs of SSD storage. Why? All these new games needing above 100 gigs of SSD storage is just insane. I think Jedi Survivor is around 140 gigs, I think, on PC, 120 gigs. And on consoles, on the PS5 and Series X, it is the same. I wish we had the option of not downloading the 4K textures, just so we could save some space. Person with this PC is not playing at 4K or even 440p, so why do they need to have the 4K textures at all? Makes no sense, way too much space, and downloading the game is also a pain as well. They can compress it of course on Steam, but still, it just takes so much time. And also an extra point about the storage as well, I know I'm rambling about it, but it's important. With Jedi Survivor, it's again 150 gigs on PS5 and Series X, and 80 gigs on the Series S. So the 4K textures are using up a ton more storage for no reason. And also, the PS4 version of Jedi Survivor is only 40 gigs. On the PS4 and Xbox One, it is the same game playing at a lower resolution with some tweaks, but it's playing with 40 gigs of hard drive storage. So the game could be optimized better, but they chose not to do it, or they had no time to do it. And I think this game will fit into the same boat. It doesn't seem to be too optimized here, way too much storage, and the specs are, are pretty insane once we go past this point here. All right, down here, just extra notes, SSD required. The game's playing at 1080p, upscale from 720p native, 30 FPS at the lowest settings. For the lowest settings, I'm not too fussed about it because with new games, the lowest settings does look pretty nice still. If you go back to like the PS4 gen or the PS3 gen, then the lowest settings does look pretty poor, but for PS5 or later PS4 gens, uh, it does look quite nice even at the lowest settings. So it's a gamble, but I think this will look good at the lowest settings still. All right, moving up to the recommended preset, we are playing at 1080p, 60 FPS with frame gen active. It doesn't say upscaling, so I'm guessing it's playing a native 1080p, while using frame gen to get 60 FPS. For me, this wouldn't be too bad. I think with God of War, I was getting 60 FPS with the 2070, and that was still feeling fine with frame gen active on a controller. Not sure how it's gonna feel on a keyboard or mouse, but it might be worse, obviously. So this again could be a gamble, but it might play fine. And of course, we could use normal DLSS or FSR. This is just showing frame gen and native 1080p. Then to the CPU, it is going up, of course, because we are playing at the medium settings instead of the lowest settings, which makes sense because some settings are CPU bound. So going up on a preset will, I guess, put more pressure or load on the CPU as well. Now for the RAM, it is 16 gigs, fair enough, no issues there. GPU, an RTX 2070 Super or an RTX 4060 on the Nvidia side. That is pretty crazy for playing a native 1080p, medium settings, and needing a frame gen to get 60 FPS. So if you have a 1080 Ti, a 2080, 2080 Super, that's all gonna fall under this preset. And weirdly on the AMD side, we have 10% more power versus the 4060 and also more VRAM as well. We have 12 gigs here on the AMD side versus eight gigs on the 4060. Now for the cards above this preset, if you have a 2080 Ti, 3070, or a 4060 Ti, they're all gonna have at least 20% headroom over this base preset. And if you go above that, you're gonna have the 3080 and the 4070 and above, which will do much better, obviously. All right, moving down to the VRAM, it is eight gigs. And obviously that won't be an issue because all these cards in this preset or in this range of power will have at least eight gigs of VRAM. So no worries there. Again, SSD storage, 140 gigs. And lastly, an extra note of the game playing at 1080p, native, 60 FPS with frame gen, and playing at the medium settings. Sadly, we can't really see above this. This is the max that we get. So we can't see native 1080p with no frame gen or upscaling. 
at 60 FPS or 440p or 4K at high or ultra. So it kind of sucks, but I'm guessing they're going to need a 4070, 4080 and above for playing at 440p or those higher presets. Now we can obviously use DLSS or frame gen and all them to get more frames that way, but our base presets here show us that the game is going to be quite intensive and most likely unoptimized. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for the video. See you guys then.